What's going on everybody? It's the BC Gamer here. Just up against the wall, back against the wall. I want to ask you guys a question. It's something that's been on my mind a little bit and uh, I want to get your feedback. Every year, hardworking Americans like myself, like you probably, unless you're in your mom's basement smoking weed, work hard and uh, you get rewarded in February. You guys know what I'm talking about. Income tax season. That's right. Time to start my own record label. Anyway, income tax season comes around and uh, we all go into the you know the back of our minds, our wants, our needs, and it's sometimes those lines can really get blurred. You know, what do you want? What do you need? Um, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna change your life this year? Are you gonna put all your money into stocks? Are you gonna hire a financial advisor, buy a couple pounds of marijuana? I mean, it all it, it all depends on the individual, I guess. And see, me being a man in my thirties. Family man, a responsible guy, my own property, I'm doing pretty good for myself. I have been wrestling with the idea of buying video games for my income tax money. Now I got 34 consoles, no 35, I'm sorry, 35, I just added the Wii U, as of right now, 35 video game consoles. Not including phones and stuff like that, but handhelds and home consoles, I got 35. And um, I was asking myself, you know, over the last couple of weeks, should I or should I not buy you know, uh, a truckload of video games and, and, you know, the couple consoles I don't have. And uh, I've come to the realization, hell yeah, I definitely should. Uh, I got a few things I need to take care of. You know, I'm, I'm going to take care of my wife's eyes because she's blind as a bat. She's getting LASIK surgery. And that's 4300 bucks. Jesus. Have any of you guys had LASIK? And if you did, did you pay that much? Let me know. And let me know where you went. Hopefully it's close. Um, but I'm getting her LASIK, right? And so I'm doing that, and I'm, I'm paying for my cruise, right? We're going to go on a cruise in March, and I'm going to get me another PS4. I'm going to get me another PS4. My wife likes playing Destiny with me. You know, we, we, we do it on PS3, but it's just not the same. So we're going to get another PS4. She wants to get the Aryan White. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. Uh, a couple games for that, and I'm going to get my Xbox One, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. That's something I've already decided on. I want to do it. But in the back of my mind, that, that, that conscious, a little angel there saying, is this the right thing to do with your money? I mean, I'm not spending all the money. Of course not. I'm going to put some in savings. I'm uh, going to buy you know a few things for the kids. You know, I'm going to re-up all my, my PlayStation uh, Plus stuff and my Xbox Live and all that crap and, and live. But my reason for doing this and thinking this way is because I'm only going to live this life once. And I'm going to try to be as healthy and happy in it as possible. And if my family has what they want and what they need, and uh, we're living good, and I work every day, and I just got a promotion, come on, just got a promotion, that's more money, man. And I'm on first shift now, so congratulations, I'm patting myself on the show for that one. But I'm going to have what I want, and I love my video games, I just don't have as much time to play them as I used to, but I figured I'd do it. And so my question to you guys is, what are you doing with your income tax money, and is it reasonable to buy some video games with it like if you got an extra three or four thousand dollars after you take care of your 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 needs is it okay to spend a little bit of that and splurge on video games i want you guys to let me know in the comment section below because it's a real question for me i don't want to think that i'm just the only one i'd like to think that some of you guys are like hell yeah i'll spend it all <laughs> on video games and, and to me there's really nothing wrong with that i mean as long as you're living responsibly you're taking care of your responsibilities your children your household your, your cars keeping things running keeping things moving that you should be able to enjoy the life that you uh, can afford yourself. So you guys let me know. And as always, thank you guys for all the thumbs up and support. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and you guys know that. And I'll see you guys next time.